It's winter adventure week, it's sunrise, we're in Central Park and we're gonna learn about acoustic dispersion. Whoa, do you hear that? Okay, Tina, so what is acoustic dispersion? So acoustic dispersion is something that happens naturally within sound. Um, when you think of sound in its simplest form, you could think of your favorite sound effect in like a video game or, you know, a single key being played on a piano. Um, but the thing with sound is it's one note could be made of many different frequencies, highs, mids, and lows. So when acoustic dispersion happens, that one sound travels in a waveform. And when it travels, the highs seem to move a lot quicker than the lows. And that's what we're gonna hear. We're gonna hear those high frequencies traveling through that medium. For us, it's gonna be the ice when we throw that rock on it. And you're gonna hear those highs followed by the lows and it's gonna create a very like otherworldly kind of sound. It's almost gonna sound like a hollow bird chirp or um, if you've watched Star Wars, it's gonna sound like a blaster. Um, they've used this for different sound effects and we're gonna use it with this lake, but there are other ways that you could kind of recreate that. Okay, so we're gonna use the Central Park Lake and we're gonna throw rocks across it. How are we gonna record this? So we have a few pieces of gear. We're gonna try out, you know, three different options. We have a Zoom H6, which is a super popular handy recorder that comes with multiple microphone capsules. Uh, we also have a Rode NTG5, which is a super sturdy, weather resistant shotgun microphone. Comes with its kit, so got everything that you need to hold it over in close proximity to the lake. And we also have the Sennheiser Ambio VR microphone, which is a little bit different. It's gonna give us a 360 pickup pattern, typically used for like concerts or sporting events. We're gonna use it here. We are in Central Park, so we're gonna get a little bit more of the background noise, but it's just gonna add to the effect. Cool, all right, let's do it. Let's get started. a good one. <laughs> okay, so we threw a bunch of rocks all over the lake. We used three different recorders and the sound is amazing. It's, it's definitely key that the, the ice has to be thin. It can't be thick. Not thick, yeah the right amount of frozen. Yeah, so I think being in Central Park is a little bit uh, of a not so great. If you're out in a desolate area, you're really gonna get those loud sounds. Exactly, you won't even need the rocks. The wind will make the sound for you. Yeah, so I, I think, what would you recommend kind of of these recorders? They're all so different, but. Um, I mean, for a run and gun type of situation, you and your buddies are out trying to record some stuff. The H6 is great. If you really want that in-depth, immersive 3D sound, the uh, Sennheiser Ambio is wonderful, and run and gun shotgun microphones in cold weather like this, the, the road is, is a great selection. Cool. We recommend that you try this at home. It's not dangerous, it's a lot of fun. I'm Maria, this is Tina from B&H. Thanks for watching. <laughs>